Okay, my friends, I get asked, what is the universe made of? It, this is exactly what it is made of. It is made of these particles, a concussive, explosive white particle and a non-concussive, non-reactive, attractive black particle. Together, a pair of these makes an electron. Back to back, glued together like two bar magnets, makes it a photon. An electron is reactive and is a destroyer because it wants to meld in with stuff. The photon will bounce off of you and it creates light. What we're looking at here is red laser light. It consists of explosive, what they would call electron shower material, which is this, and I will show it do the electron showers, and this, which they would call a muon, which is a non-concussive, does-nothing ball. And I make the assertion that it is dark matter, dark energy. The darkness of the energy is it's a puller, it's an attractor, it's a gravity particle. These are exploders, they're pushers. Pushers and pullers. Alright, and you're going to say, how did we get to that particle? Well, that particle right here that I just showed you, the black balls and the white balls. Here's how we got to it. We took a red laser, pulse red laser, pip, 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 pip. And when it comes through, it literally is that particle. And when it concusses at the Venturi, it shows itself. Up here, you can't see it. This is, it's not a particle. Up here, it looks like this. It's not anything until it just gets before the Venturi. And that's right before the Venturi is where you can see it. Back here, it, it has no visible structure. And I will show you this in great detail, uno momento. When it comes through the Venturi, you get your electron showers coming towards us. In other words, they're coming through here, and we would be standing here looking at them. That's what we would see, is these showers of electrons. Around this is the dark matter, it's the black balls. The black ball will walk right away from that white ball as it comes through that venturi. We're going to see that in a second. This is light spinning. It's spinning to the right, it's dr which means it will drift to the left. We're seeing it expanded here, contracted here. That obviously means it's slowing. This is a new particle nobody has a clue about. It came from a reverse spinner. Now, this, uh, like I say, is the experiment, is the red laser through the venturi, the particle is seen here, it, it, the black ball walks right away, completely away, it just surrounds the white particles. This is what the photon is that we just saw, that back-to-back -back electrons. And when they concuss, they literally separate, let's look at that right now, and that tells me the dark matter lives on its own. Don't forget, you just saw the black ball, the muon neutrino, and you saw the electron neutrinos, the electron showers. They're high voltage, which is the accelerated light, smashing into a medium, which just causes it to smash all the electrons into the electrons it's hitting into, which makes them shower. And the black ball has, it doesn't do anything. It has nothing. It doesn't absorb. It doesn't emit. It doesn't reflect. It doesn't concuss. It just sort of rolls away and stays away from the action. Dark matter. And it separates itself, so it is an entity on its own. Therefore, I agree that it's quite likely there is more dark matter in the universe than there is explosive particles. And these are the gravitational particles. So they are the former of planets and all the other things that are in masses. All right, you just saw what electron showers look like. And these are them coming at us. That little bugger there is the one that concussed with one of these and made some kind of strange looking particle. Now, this is all that exists is electrons. 1837 electrons would be equal to one proton, 1838 equal to a neutron. A photon is back to back electrons, and when they concuss, if they concuss in this extreme impact like we are doing with the Venturi, the, 
the dark matter will literally walk away from the concussive fermion, electron, neutrino, electron, whatever you want to call it. But this is the only thing that has power is the is the electron portion, which they never knew this existed. See, this is just, that's why they've always just said, where's the dark matter? Where's all the, well, it's stuck to all the electrons. Now, additionally, I believe there is additional dark matter that is just floating around waiting, because watch what happens when these reattach after they separate. All right, now. Remember, that was that accelerated particle. We saw it here. It was this little, it looked just like this. Now, there's the black balls. Not a single one in here. Zero, none, not a bit, tiny, 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 nothing of blackness in here. Not even the smidgest smidge of blackness. However, you see it all around the outside edge. You see the black ball, black ball, black ball, black ball, black ball, black ball, black ball and then they come back in together down here. This tells me 100% certainty that the black and the white are their own entity in certain situations. And what are those certain situations? Extreme violence. And where does that occur? Stars and all of that stuff. So, what what my point is, is we have a separation of powers. <laughs> now, the black can get, just walk away from the, the explosive whiteness, which we feel all the time we're being radiated by particles. And I believe these particles consist both of the black and the white. However, in certain circumstances, they can become disassociated. And in that case, if they don't come back together the right way, they just go on their own. So I could say these are harvesters of material. So they may, and I, they may attract to their own selves, because I can see them bunched up together here, touching. They don't have any problem touching each other. And I don't know if they're uh, attracting to each other. That I can't say. But I can say they don't, they're not worried about touching each other. I can see them all over the place, touching, banging together, just staying together. Nothing. This one, uh, that, that's not going to happen with the white balls. They are going to just push everybody away. They will try, here they're so far away that, you know, they, they, there's room between them so they can get away from each other. You see them? But here, they're just forced into each other's regions. And these don't want to be involved. Dark matter, dark energy. We never knew it was there. They're the other half of the electron. We always thought an electron was just negative. That's all there is. Ah, it's just a negative. And then in the center of that atom, that's just a positive. That's it. Case closed. And there are a few little neutrals in there because we, they, they just had to throw something in there because they couldn't account for the, the way it, it reacted. And they can't account for the isotopes. They can't account for a million things with the standard model. So they, they, they realize they have to abandon it, but they have no place to go. Electron flood theory is the place to go. Let's talk about what the old was that was wrong and what the new is that is correct. Now, I know I've done this a few times, but I want this to sink in because it's not being taken. I, I can show you the, everything I've shown you, and they are just not, nobody will look at it. I can't get through to anybody in this this research realm that thinks about deeply this way. Now, remember, in the electron flood theory, the only thing that exists is this electron. That's it. And you just keep adding them together, and in certain quantities, they become stable. And my assertion now is that the resonance frequency, the hum of the universe, vibrates these at certain frequency that they become stable at certain chunks of 1837 or so, right in that area. So they keep building blocks up and up in the periodic chart until you get up to the real heavy particles. Now in the light ones, the hydrogens, they are the, they, they, those are just little balls of electrons. That's all they are is little balls of electrons. 
and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and they make more and more and more particles and molecules and so forth. But we're down here in this photon and electron range, which is all we worked with. This is all we worked with was light. That is light. That's all it is is light. This is not nuclear particles banging and going anywhere. This is part of light and the other part is right here. Dark and white. Coming from light, we saw it was here, we saw it split, we can see it's two different things. I can tell you right now, dark energy can separate from regular energy, and that is it right there, my friends. And electron flow theory is the new theory that works.